Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tag. If you're new to the channel, I currently am building my 2004 R32. This has been my dream car since I was a, a young little lad and uh, I finally bought one, but now I am completely rebuilding it. The interior is all ripped out and yeah, so be sure to check those out, I'll leave that below. But today is a, is a different video, today is tire day. As you can see I got tires everywhere, the spring has sprung, I need to put my winter tires away and I need to get the winters off the R8 off, put the summers on. I got some new tires for the R32, so I need to put them on the rims and I need to get rid of these tires. I did buy these tires from Tire Rack over here and there were three options. Ship it to an installer and then drive to the installer and they install it. Ship them to your house and someone can come to your house or your office and install it. Or ship them to an installer that will drive to your house and they'll come install it. I decided to ship them to my house and get the installer to come here. Never done that before, but I tell you what, it's cheaper and easier than me taking all these tires to a shop, taking the car, getting the Uber back, you know the drill. So, let's wait for this guy to pull up and see how this process goes. Alright guys, so uh, forgive me if this is weird, but this is the first time I've uh, done a voiceover. So, from the process of um, placing the order for the tires and then actually getting them was, I think, two days. And then I just scheduled the tire rack guys or ASPS tire, ASAP tire, to come out uh, the day after the estimated delivery day. Uh, it was supposed to rain this day and uh, I called them and I said, if it's going to rain, um, are you guys still coming out? And they said they still do it in the rain. Uh, although... The tire installer did not know that. <laughs> he said, I wouldn't do it in the rain. Anyways, if, if you can see now, he just separated the rims right there. I had them all stacked together. But their procedure is actually taking a picture before and after the installation. Obviously, to record if, the, uh, if there was any damage done or not. Uh, since I also had some tires I needed to dispose of, he opened the back of the truck and they have a whole rack system back there and he's loading up the tires that I need disposed of. So all in all, pretty straightforward. Uh, we just confirmed uh, what projects he was doing today. Um, and then the pricing was never discussed here because I paid for it online. Oh, I didn't pay for it online. I agreed to pay for them online and the price was posted there. So I just decided to help carry the rims to the truck so we can get the process going. So I would uh, recommend doing this. It seems pretty easy. Obviously, I'm working more than you have to work um, because they will do it. All right, guys, so ASAP Tires is here. They are going to start with the R32 tires. Let me just show you their truck and number. It's a nice new truck. It's all kitted out inside. I'll show you some pictures of, there, of the inside soon. And then onto the RA. All right, guys, so I didn't want to have a camera all up in this guy's face. So you can see I have his face removed from the filming. But you can see this truck is uh, nicely set up. On the left, there is the tire mounter, and on the right is the wheel balancer. He did mention that this is one of the first trucks they've outfitted with the equipment, and they're still tweaking things as they go. But all in all, it seems like a cool setup. So what you see here is obviously the tire changing of my R8 and you would have just seen me um, actually jacking up the R8. He has no instructions of how or where to jack up the R8, neither did I, but I wasn't going to risk uh, him damaging the car. He was doing a lot of research, he did call a bunch of people, but no one seemed to know how to jack up the R8. I'm sure it goes against um, AS. AP's tire policy that I jack up the car, but I wasn't going to uh, let this gentleman damage the car by mistake and then go through all of that process. But yeah, it uh, worked out straightforward and he got the tires changed and the center point in the car is where you jack up the R8, so now I know that. So costs are as followed, $28 a tire for the R32 and $30 a tire for the R8. Alrighty guys, as you can see, AS, 
AP tires is leaving now. R8 all sorted out, dialed in. Oh, uh, we got the new tires here, and my oh my, these are sticky. So hopefully that'll be good for uh, some track days. And I did a couple burnouts on these winter tires on the R8, and they actually look pretty good. So that's all good. So I highly recommend using tire racks at home installation or at work. It's much easier than loading a truck, catching an Uber or waiting. I was able to start another project. So be sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can check out the next project here. I'm working on a sound box for the subwoofer for the R32. So until next time, I'll see you then.